good morning student in the last class we have taken about in the third chapter divisibility test that means a number is given means whether we can divide by certain number or not that we have started up to 9 2 3 4 6 8 9 9 we are studying number if 9 can divide if 6 can divide if 3 can divide if 4 can divide means what is the divisibility test we have studied in the last class today we are going to do the last one numbers divisible by 11 any number is divisible by 11 or not how can we check so that is the condition given if a sum of the digit at the odd places that mean odd places means what first place third place five place seventh place eight Ninth place, eleventh place, like that. So that is the odd number places, and the sum of the digit at the even places. That means two, four, six, eight, ten. In that place, what is the digit given there? If you add the digit, odd places digit you have to add separately, even places digit you have to add separately. Both odd minus of even digit total you have to minus difference you have to find. If you are getting zero or eleven, then it is divisible by eleven table. Okay. I'll read once again. If sum of the digit of the odd places, first place, third place, fifth place, like that odd number places, you have to add it from the right side of the number you have to add. Okay. Then you have to add the even places number in the second place, in the fourth place, from the right side. If we add it. And find the difference between the odd number total and the even number total. You will get one answer. If that answer is coming zero or eleven multiples, then it will be divisible by eleven. See, let us see the example. One, two, two, one. From the right side, this is odd. O I have written odd. Even, odd, even. Okay. This is second place. This is fourth place. From the right side. So first I have odd. So this number can divide by eleven. Second number also one three three one. From the last, first is odd, third number is odd. So first is one, third number is three. I am adding it four, one plus three. Then I am seeing the even place number. Second is even place, fourth is even place. Three plus one, three plus one four. Then odd minus of even, four minus four zero. You are getting zero means it is divisible by eleven. Then simple number I have three zero eight. See, I am seeing the from the last place I am seeing odd place is eight first one, third place is three. So eight plus three eleven. Then what is the even number here? Only one number zero is there. So zero eleven minus zero eleven. Eleven can be divided by eleven. Yes. So this number can be divisible by eleven. Understood? So any number you are adding the odd place total and the even digit place total. You are finding the difference between the odd minus of even. If you are getting zero or eleven multiples, then the number can be divided by eleven. That is your divisibility test by eleven. Then exercise number three point three based on the all the divisibility. First problem, the table problem problem. You take it as a homework because numbers are given. One, two, three, four. What are the divisibility tests we have done? That same thing is you check whether it is as per the condition what I have given. You check whether the given number divisible by the given number two, three, four, six, nine, eleven, and so on. Okay, that you get as a homework. Second question: divisibility by four and eight. Any number can following number given check whether it is divisible by four and eight. What is the condition to four? Any number divisible by four means last two digit. If one digit and ten digit combine, if it is dividing by four, then the number whole number can divide. And if it is eight, means what? Last three digit, ones, tens, hundred. The three digit can divide by eight, then the whole number can be divided by eight. That is the condition for four and eight. Let us apply in the first problem. Five seventy two. They are given. First problem. Five seventy two. For four, I am taking seventy two. I am taking last two digit and dividing by four. Yes. 
ये एक्जैक्टली इज डिवाइडिंग 72 क्लियर 72 इज डिवाइडिंग सी हियर देन यस डिविजिबिलिटी बाय 4 इज एक्जिस्टिंग ओके ऑन कंडीशन 5 सम टू कैन डिवाइड बाय 4 वन इज ओवर चेक फॉर ए 5 सम टू 3 डिजिट वी हैव टू चेक सो 3 डिजिट आर टेकन कैन इट डिवाइड बाय ए नो 56 7 टाइम वन रिमाइंडर 12 कैन नॉट डिवाइड सो नॉट डिविजिबल बाय ए सो 5 सम टू कैन नॉट बी डिविजिबल बाय ए दैट इज द ए प्रॉब्लम बी प्रॉब्लम सी 6 डिजिट देयर वन 7 2 6 3 5 2 दे आर आस्किंग whether it is divisible by 4 or 8 let us check for 4 what is the condition for 4 last 2 digit you have to check 52 last 2 digit I am dividing by 4 yes exactly dividing therefore the whole number can divide by 4 finish then check for the 3 term for divisible by 8 divisibility by 8 3 would be 2 yes that is also can divide by 8 see 4 times 32 remaining 3 32 then 4 times 44 times will be yes it is divisible by 8. So, other number if you combine, that whole number can be divisible by 8. This is second problem. Third problem, you see, 5500 is given. Is it divisible by 4? Last two digit is 0. Then combine the whole number and divide it by 4. Yes, it is divisible. 1 time, 15, 30, 2 remainder, 2 means it is divisible by 4. That is divisibility. Then it is divisibility by 8 or check it up. Last three digits. 500 can 500 divided by 8? No, not divisible. So 5500 cannot be divisible by 8. Finish. Then D problem 6000. <coughs> 6000 is given. 6000 can be divisible by 4? Yes, it is 0 is there, 6 is there, 20 will be remaining, so it can be divided. So 6000 can be divisible by 4. One condition over. Then 8, 6000 last 3 number is 0. Add this 6 also. Check it. 6 times 48, 2 reminder, 2 times 16, 4 reminder, 40, so 40 can divide by 8, yes, divisible by 8, understood? So that is D problem. Then E problem, you see here 5, 5 digit is given, 1, 2, 1, 5, 9. Let us check for last 2 digit, 59, can it divide? 9 is empty, you cannot divide at all, so not divisible by 4. 159, can it divide? No, it cannot be divided by 8 also. So, it is both, uh, this number cannot be divided by 4 as well as 8. F, next problem. 14,560. 14,560, last number is 60. Can it divide by 4? Yes, it will divide by 4. Because 60 can divide by 4 easily. So, 4 is the divisibility is there. Then 563 digit for the 8 division. 560, can it divide by 8? Yes, it can be divided by 8. 7 times 56. So 70 times it can divide. Yes, it is divisible by 8. Like the I have done A, B, C, D, E. Like that, you go for G, H, I, J, S, homework. Okay? Then we will go for the third question. What is given there in the third question? Divisibility by 6. The given number, the following number given in the problem in the question. It should be divisible by 6 or not. You are fine. For divisibility by 6, what is the condition? 2 as well as 3 should divide that number. The given number should be divisible by 2 as well as 3. Then only 6 can divide. So first problem, first problem we will take. A. 297144. 297144. What is the condition for 2 divisibility? If the unit digit or what's digit is ending with the even number 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 like that 4 is ending so 2 can be divisible so this number can be divided by 2 let us check for 3 what is the condition for 3 if you add all the digit in the given number if it is coming in multiple of 3 then it is divisible that number can be divisible by 3 let us check 297144 add all the digit 2 plus 9 7, 1 plus 4 plus 4. I am getting 27. 27 is coming in the 3 table? Yes, it is coming there. So 3 is 3 can divide this number. So therefore, this number can be divisible by 3 also. Understood? So 2 can also divide, 3 can also divide. That means what? 297144 can be divisible by 6. Okay? That is your first problem. Second problem, let us take. 1, 2, 5, 8. Last one is 8. 
1 is k it is divisible by 2 so no problem this number can be divisible by 2 then check for the other condition for 3 I am adding all the digit 1 plus 2 plus 5 plus 8 so 8 plus 8 is 16 16 is coming in 3 table no it is not divisible by 3 so therefore the given number 1 2 5 8 is not divisible by 6 also up to this we will stop today and we will continue the next session thank you